On March 11, 2018, about 1908 Eastern Daylight Time, an Airbus Helicopters AS350 B2, operated by Liberty Helicopters per contractual agreement with Nyon Air, lost engine power during a doors off flight over New York City. The pilot performed an auto rotative descent and ditching on the East River, and the helicopter rolled inverted. Both Liberty and Nyon Air considered the flight to be an aerial photography flight. Before departure for the flight, each passenger was restrained by a full body fall protection harness in addition to the helicopter's installed FAA approved restraints. The harness was connected to the helicopter by a tether. The harness tether system was intended to keep the passengers from falling out of the helicopter when taking photographs while extending their feet outside the helicopter's open doorways. About 1850, the accident helicopter departed Hilo Kearney Heliport, Kearney, New Jersey, with the pilot and five passengers on board for the intended 30-minute local flight. The flight traveled toward the Statue of Liberty at altitudes between 300 and 500 feet above ground level, then flew near the statue and other landmarks before proceeding north up the East River. The pilot radioed the air traffic control tower at LaGuardia Airport and requested a route up the East River to the north end of Central Park. The air traffic controller provided a clearance to proceed with instructions for the flight to remain at or below an altitude of 2,000 feet above mean sea level. Radar data showed that the helicopter then proceeded along the East River and climbed to an altitude of 1,900 feet above mean sea level. The pilot was seated on the right, one passenger was in the left front seat, and four passengers were in the back seats. Three floor-mounted engine control levers were located between the two front seats. Two of these controls were the fuel flow control lever and the fuel shutoff lever. As the flight proceeded, the front passenger rotated outboard in his seat, extended his feet outside the helicopter, and leaned back several times to take photographs. Onboard video indicated that each time that the front passenger leaned back, the tail from the tether attached to the back of his harness hung down in the vicinity of the helicopter's floor-mounted engine controls. At 1905-51, the front seat passenger resumed a more upright seated position and the tail of his tether appeared to be taut and extended toward the area of the helicopter's floor-mounted controls. The front seat passenger then pulled on the door frame hand grip to adjust his seating position. His tether tail remained taut but appeared to pop upward as a unit. The onboard video recording captured a reduction in ambient engine sounds about two seconds later. The helicopter then began to lose altitude. The pilot said he heard the low rotor RPM alert and saw the engine oil pressure and fuel pressure lights illuminate. About 1906-30, the pilot turned towards the East River and attempted to restart the engine but was unsuccessful. The pilot then made a Mayday radio transmission. Preparing for the emergency landing, the pilot found that the fuel shutoff lever was in the up or shutoff position. The pilot realized that the front passenger's tether tail had pulled the lever up, shutting off the fuel flow to the engine. The pilot pushed the fuel shutoff lever down to restore fuel flow, but the helicopter was too low for the pilot to restart the engine. The pilot activated the emergency flotation system about 100 feet above the water. The helicopter touched down about 1907-15. The helicopter then rolled over to the right and was inverted and submerged about 11 seconds after touchdown. Only the pilot was able to exit from the helicopter.